Hi, in this video, I will talk about the complex natural logarithm function. The natural logarithm for the base e, I will denote it by lin, the complex number or the complex variable z. So that's called the complex natural logarithm function. Now we are familiar with this in the real function. So let me talk about two issues regarding this function. The first issue is this function is multi-valued function. It's a multi-valued. What does it mean? Now, let's write z in general way using Euler formula. So this is equal the modulus, let's call it r, e to the i theta. Now we are familiar with this notation with Euler formula. So let's try to find what is ln z. Ln z will be simply using the property of the logarithmic functions. This will be ln r plus ln e to the i theta. And uh, the second term can be simplified as just i theta. So this could be written as ln r plus i theta. Now, we know that r is real, so ln r is defined for values greater than zero. So we know that r, of course, should be more than zero, which means the logarithmic function, now this one, is not defined for z equals zero, which is the origin. r has to be greater than zero. Now, let's go back to our problem, multi-valued function. Now, we know that theta in the complex plane, if I am at this location, and this is my theta, now I can go by 2 pi, and I will reach the same value of theta, same value of the complex number. In fact, I can even move another 2 pi, or more, or double, or and so on. So in general, if I change theta by 2 pi or 4 pi or 6 pi, in general by 2 pi times n, where n is integer, I would go back to the same point. But the problem is, if you look at the function ln z, now if you, if you change theta by 2 pi, you're going to get a different value for the imaginary value of ln z. And that's what we mean by the function is multivalued. Now this is a problem with the logarithmic function. And the way usually to solve it is not to allow theta to go over and over above 2 pi. So for example, we can restrict theta, let's say to be between, for example, 0 and 2 pi. And I'm going to put an equal sign to one of them, for example, like this. So if I restrict theta to be greater than or equal to 0, less than 2 pi, then I will guarantee that the function becomes single valued. So we, we solve this problem, the first problem, and they call this the principal value for the logarithmic. So if you choose theta to be, for example, in this range, then the logarithm function is called the principal value. Of course, we don't have to choose exactly this range of theta. I could, for example, choose theta between negative pi to pi, and I could put the, the uh, equal sign here. That's also possible. Anyway, the point is we have to restrict theta in the range of 2 pi. Now, that's the first issue. However, there's still another issue with this a function, and let's try to, to explain what is the second issue. Let's draw the complex plane. Let's choose one of these choices. For example, let's choose this one. So theta will be between 0 and goes up to 2 pi. So now, if we, th if we think about theta equals 0, which is the positive real axis, 
So it's clear that if we are coming closer to this axis from up, so theta gonna approach zero. However, if you go from below, so theta is approaching two pi. And that means the function is not continuous. That's the second problem with the function. So even though we solve the problem of multivalued case, we still have a problem with continuity. Now this will arise, this second problem, once we deal with derivatives. Like if you want to define the derivative of the logarithmic function, then we have a problem because the function is not continuous on the positive real axis. The way to solve this is to remove the equality and to define the logarithmic function in the range, let's say, between zero to two pi without the equal sign. And what that means is we are defining the logarithmic function all over the complex plane except theta equals zero which is the positive real axis, and that's called a branch. So we are removing this branch from the domain of the function. In this case, the function becomes continuous everywhere, where it's defined, of course, on the, on the positive real axis, the function is not defined there. So the function doesn't have any problem elsewhere in the complex plane. That's called a branch or a branch cut. So that was a very short note about the logarithmic function. I hope it's clear and see you in another video.